Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. A bottle is filled with eight ounces of solvent. If 20% of this solvent evaporates, how many ounces remain? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, and of course, I'll explain exactly how to solve this problem. This is not going to be that difficult, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, let's go ahead and take one more look at the question before I show you the answer. So a bottle is filled with eight ounces of solvent. Now, just in case you don't know what solvent is, it's effectively just some sort of chemical. Of course, there's more of a technical uh, you know, explanation of a solvent, but you, just, you can think of it as a chemical. Now, if 20% of this evaporates, now this word right here, just in case you don't know what evaporates means, that just means kind of naturally burn off. It's like if we had water out here and here is the sun and this bucket of water over time is gonna decrease because the water is going to evaporate. Well, that's what's going on here with this solvent. So if 20% of this solvent evaporates, how many ounces remain? Well, let's go and see the answer. The correct answer is 6.4 ounces. All right, now, if you got this right, that is outstanding. And let's go and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you understand how to solve percent math word problems because that's what this question is about. It's not that difficult, but of course, you have to have a good understanding of percent. So if you didn't get this right, no big deal. Let's go ahead and take a look at the solution right now. All right, so first things first, one, we are dealing with a math word problem. And anytime you're dealing with a math word problem, always use the rule of three. Read the problem at least three times before you do anything. And make sure you understand the question. And I think here, if people got this wrong, they could have uh, misinterpreted what the question is asking, okay? So that's why it's important to read a problem and really hone in on the question because math problems, especially math word problems, are known to be a little bit tricky and you gotta understand exactly what the question is asking in order to uh, kind of you know use the right strategy. So here we have this bottle, right, of eight ounces of solvent and if 20% evaporates, how much remains after this happens, okay? Well, the best way to solve this problem is to try to model the information, and we can do that pretty easily by coming up with a nice, lovely little sketch here. All right, so now your uh, you know kind of model can be different, so feel free to be creative, but you gotta understand what's going on uh, with the information in the problem so you can kind of see the solution. That's why a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's suppose this is my little bottle here, and here is our eight ounces of solvent. So what's gonna happen? Well, 20% of this is going to evaporate, okay? So 20% of this solvent will evaporate. So that means that 80% uh, remains because if this bottle is 100% filled up and 20% evaporates, well, we're left with 80% or 100 minus 20, which of course is 80. So what's really going on here is we wanna find out what is 80% of eight ounces? Okay, so if you can figure that out, well, then we can solve the problem. So this is not that difficult. Now, another approach you could take is figuring out what 20% of eight ounces is and then, and then subtracting away. But uh, probably some of you out there uh, may have just taken 20% of eight ounces and then just uh, basically thought that was the correct answer, right? I'm pretty sure some of you did that, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and actually calculate this now. But really, the question we have to focus in on here is 80% of eight ounces is what, right? So 80% of eight ounces, we need to do this calculation. And again, feel free to use your calculator. All right, so let's go ahead and take that next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support. Uh, right now, it's not looking too good in the world because math proficiency continues to uh, decline, right? 
Now, uh, over the years, of course, I went to school in the 70s and 80s. There was a far, far less technology uh, in the classroom, and I think that was a good thing. But it seems like as we uh, increase the amount of technology that's out there, proficiency seems to be going down. And I think that's because people are just rely too much on technology, okay? So if you really want to learn math, you got to buckle down. you got to learn the theories, the concepts, and it takes work, right? So if you're having a tough time in math, don't quit. You can definitely learn this stuff, but there are no shortcuts, all right? So make sure you kind of just, you know, decide, all right, I'm willing to do the work and not look for little quick tutorials. What you need is full comprehensive instruction, and hopefully you have a math teacher that teaches you in that manner. If you don't, well, I would love to be your math teacher. So when you subscribe, it's like I gained another student. And if you're going to do that, make sure, to hit, make sure to hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. This is not that difficult once we understand the setup, right? Okay, so what we want to do is find 80% of 8 ounces. So how do we find a percent of a number? Well, pretty easy. What we need to do is uh, change that percent to a decimal. So how do we change 80%? to a decimal, well, easy, just divide by 100. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're making it too hard. Don't we just uh, uh, move the decimal point two places to the left? Yes, indeed, that's what we do. Here is the decimal point, 80.0%. So we move this uh, decimal point over two places to the left. We can change percent into a decimal, but that's what happens when you divide by 100. So when we divide by 100, the decimal point moves over two places to the left, so 80% will become 0.8. And now all we have to do is multiply that decimal by this 8 ounces, or 8. So 0.8 times 8 is 6.4. Of course, the units of measure here is ounces, so 6.4 ounces remains. Now, if you think about this, right, 80% of eight ounces, you know, if you just kind of had to take a guess, you know, 6.4 seems like a reasonable number. And that's another thing you should be doing with all of your answers is to kind of use some common sense and ask, hey, does this uh, answer make sense? You know, that's always a good thing to do. But uh, anyways, you know, this problem is not that difficult. If you want to uh, kind of try more challenging problems, well, then go to my uh, YouTube channel. I have a lot of word problems from basic uh, word problems, uh, basic math word problems to more sophisticated, much more challenging algebra word problems and, you know, trigonometry word problems, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you need help with any of these concepts, make sure to check out my main courses uh, in the description. I have a lot more courses than those courses, but, um, you know, if you just need help with basic math, a good starter course is my Math Foundations course. If you want to relearn math and you're not a student, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, if you're in Algebra, Geometry, Algebra 2, whatever, you'll find links to those courses as well. But here's the thing, right? Here's my parting message to you. Whatever you do, if you truly want to learn math, you got to you got to get into a good course of instruction, and uh, you don't want to learn math a little bit here, a little bit there. You need to get a good uh, course uh, uh, lesson instruction, if you will, and then follow that up with a lot of practice, practice, practice. Remember, math is a skill, and you can learn this if you put the effort into uh, you know learning it, right? Just like anything else. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.